A dead animal in Africa means at least one thing. The scavengers are not far. Whether it has been a kill by an apex predator like leopards or lions or a natural death. The two-party cleanup crew, consisting of a variety of vulture species and clans of hyenas will be right around the corner. Right away I do have to say though that hyenas are not only proficient scavengers, they are also very successful hunters themselves if an opportunity arises. They do not solely depend on scavenging. Hyenas, divided into the three subspecies spotted, brown and striped hyena, are Africa's most common large carnivore. They are fairly big in build, yet still compact and very powerful. Their excellent hearing and nighttime vision helps them with hunting and scavenging. Vultures, on the other hand, are mid to big sized birds, consisting of 22 species, 11 of them living on the continent of Africa. Depending on the species, size and appearance is different, usually being somewhere between 50 and 115 cm in height, with the color range from white to brown to black. A lot of vulture species are carnivores and often feed on carrion. Low pH levels in their stomach and digestive system allows them to digest rotting meat without any issues. Now, depending on the size of the predator that made a kill, vultures generally tend to wait until the carcass is abandoned and then start the feast. Experienced hyena clans, however, also try to steal the carcass or displace the leopards and even lion prides from their kill. Unfortunately though, despite being fascinating creatures, these two animals are often looked down upon by people because all they see is an animal who forcefully feeds on food others have left behind, sometimes even pushing away those who work for their food and actually make the effort to hunt. Especially hyenas are often seen as smelly, aggressive, noisy and dumb individuals. Well okay, according to Kevin Richardson, also known as the Lion Whisperer, the smelly part is true. The hyenas, I must be honest, are a little bit stinky and uh, they love nothing more than to roll in the fatty piece of meat. Cool, good to see you. You're very oily and stinky. Come. Yes, you stink, my boy. He's a stinky boy. Ooh, he'll, yeah. he'll often come and just uh, uh, put his head on my lap and uh, fall asleep. Um, Our relationship over the years um, you know, I hand raised him, so I think, uh, I think he does remember that. Hey boy. I highly recommend his videos if you want to learn more about hyenas, leopards and lions in particular. Hyenas are also not dumb at all. In fact, they are very intelligent, live in a well-structured social clan and, same as the vulture, have a great positive impact on their ecosystem. Now here are three more reasons why vultures and hyenas are actually important and should not be hated. As you might have guessed, scavenging comes with eating the parts that others left behind. Predators usually eat the organs with the most nutrition first, then expand to the meaty parts. So the leftover parts of a carcass mostly include scraps of meat, skin and the bones, which would lay around until they are rotten and broken apart. In course of evolution, vultures developed a great solution for that. Different species are able to and prefer to eat different parts of a carcass, also reducing the competition for food. Bearded vultures, for example, have such strong beaks that they can crack open smaller bones or they pick up the bigger bones to let them drop on the rocks in order to crack them. Hyenas are also able to feed on leftovers from carcasses including big bones. With 1100 psi, hyenas have one of the strongest bite forces in the animal kingdom, even stronger than lions. This obviously helps a lot with crushing and chewing bones. While hyenas and vultures eat basically everything from a carcass that is somewhat edible, they keep the ecosystem clean so to speak. Potential diseases that could otherwise have spread from the carcass can easily be broken down in these animals' digestive systems and can therefore not spread into the ecosystem. This reason does not count for the vultures so much, but is certainly true for hyenas. As I said in the beginning, hyenas, especially the biggest species, the spotted hyena, are very successful hunters as well and therefore help to balance the populations in the ecosystem by preying on different species. So, after learning more about these two animals and actually understanding part of their important role in an ecosystem, it is time to change the general conception of them to the better. They might seem skittish and mischievous, but they are actually fascinating, smart and vital in their respective environments. Now thank you all so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, click on the like button and maybe even consider subscribing to the channel for weekly videos. 
But most importantly, take care of yourselves and have an absolutely fantastic rest of your day.